Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of HVAC Education Hub channel. In this episode, we'll cover difference between R290 or propane and R32. As you know, European Union and FGAS regulations are going in direction with natural refrigerants with a few years phased out of all the refrigerants such as R32 or R410. Also, natural refrigerant as propane, R290. With this refrigerant, we can go on higher water outlet temperature. We will explain how, but this refrigerant is flammable. So we need to take care that our area is safe and our possibility of refrigerant leakage is minimal. On Panasonic heat pump, Aquarea L generation, this refrigerant is stored in outdoor units. So whole refrigerant cycle is in outdoor units and water connection is between outdoor and indoor unit. Also additional safety measures such as PCB cover is different and we have air refrigerant separator. So we ensure that our operation is safe. In other devices, in big devices and other different devices or R290, usually refrigerant cycle is in outdoor unit and only water connection is going inside to prevent refrigerant of leakage. The main, the main thing about R290 is that it is known to have very low GVP or global warming potential. It is around three. It means natural refrigerant, not, not dangerous for, for our atmosphere. But if we compare it with R32, R32 is lower flammable refrigerant grade A to L and R290 is A3. It means higher flammability. So we need to take care that everything is safe when we are working with this refrigerant. What is the main advantage of propane uh, in, our, in our heat pump system? It is critical point or critical condensation point. It means that highest temperature and pressure at, at which R290 can condense is 96 degrees Celsius and 43 bars. Also, latent heat of vaporization is around 425 kilojoule per kilogram. So on our diagram, logarithmic pH chart, on one axis we have pressure in bar and on another axis we have specific enthalpy in kilojoule per kilogram. So how much kilojoule of energy per one kilogram of our, of our mass we can we can have. This, these numbers maybe are not uh, so clear when looking just on one, on one chart, but if we compare R32 and R290, we can see that with R290, we have higher temperature and lower pressure. So we have 43 bar and 96 degrees Celsius. And on R32, we have 58 bar and 78 degrees Celsius. This means that we cannot condense on high temperature on R32 because limit on all devices is around 40 bar. So on R32, we can have around 60 degrees maximum flow temperature, maybe slightly, slightly higher. On R290, for example, Panasonic L generation, we can have 75 degrees water flow temperature when outdoor is minus 10. So in all range up to outdoor minus 10, we have 75 degrees. We can have this because critical point or critical temperature allows our refrigerant to condense at higher temperature. Also, we have greater heat of vaporization. If we compare with R32, R32 is around 300, 
180 kilojoule per kilogram and R290 is around 425 kilojoule per kilogram. It means we can use less refrigerant. For example, five kilowatt Panasonic unit around 900 grams, so less than one kilogram of refrigerant. If we compare working conditions on 60 degrees condensing temperature on R32, we are around 39 bars, so almost on limit when our high pressure switch will stop the unit. And on R290 and 60 degrees Celsius, we have only 21 bar. So very low operating pressure, safety, and we can have higher temperature. Also on evaporation side, on minus 10, we have 3.45 bar and on R32, we have 5.83 bar on minus 10. So conclusion with higher critical temperature allows our refrigerant to condense at higher temperature. It means higher living water temperature. It means higher temperature in our house, in our radiators. Greater heat of vaporization, we can potentially use less refrigerant, so cost saving, lower CO2 equivalent, and with lower operating pressures, we have safer operation. However, as we already explained in other videos, always is recommendation to, co to go as low as possible with your flow temperature, but with this, with this technology improvement, you can go on even higher temperature if you need it. Thank you for watching this episode. Hit subscribe button and see you in other episodes.